Welcome back to our series dealing with parables for our times. Dealing with deep, deep concepts that are found in God's Word and putting it into practical terms by looking at illustrations. I think that we want to make this a lot easier, not only for you, but easier for the people that you are trying to win for the Lord and those who you're trying to converse with about the things of Almighty God. I know it can be frustrating. Using object lessons is extremely helpful and beneficial. Now, I have some water in this little container. Yeah, I can even drink it. It's good quality water. This water that's in here looks pretty bland, eh? You can't really see very, very much. You can see right through it. It's very, very bland. And um, many of us, our lives are senseless. There's no color in our life. There's no meaning in our life. As a matter of fact, we live from day to day. We don't live. We only exist. And we sort of roll with the punches. Oh, another day. We try to get through it. Oh, go to bed tonight. And one day comes, another day goes, and the result is our life is colorless. There is no true vibrancy in our life. Very much like the, the fizz in Coca-Cola. Once the fizz goes out of Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola is left flat. And many of us have lost that fizz. We've lost that, that coloring in our life. Now, I want to take this particular glass, and I want to actually use an illustration of how we can add color to our life. Have a look at this. Clear water. There it goes. Look how beautiful it is. Yes, there we go. I can even drink it now. And it looks a lot more beautiful, doesn't it? It's got some radiant color in it. It may be dark from where you are, but if I put it behind the light, you can see it's actually got a bluish tinge to it. Now, I can drink this water. There's nothing wrong with it. Tastes the same, but it looks very differently. And therefore, life may seem very much the same as anyone else's life. But if you have color in your life, if you are a colorful person, and how do you become a colorful person? By having meaning, by having purpose in your life. You say, well, how did you do that? All that I did was I put a little drop of coloring at the base of this glass, which you might not have been able to see. And as soon as I poured the bland water into it, the whole character of that water changed. The very, very essence is the same, but it has more color in it. And that's exactly what can happen in your life. Why should you live a boring life? Just breathing in the oxygen and going from one day to the next and feeling that life is purposeless. Why don't you put a smile on your face? Why don't you try to make somebody else's life a good life, a good day? How about making somebody's day right now? And the way that you do that is to look for a way of complimenting them. Not lying, not exaggerating, but looking for some compliment where you can actually compliment them, some feature in their life. And you will see that those pale faces suddenly have rosy cheeks again and there's life in the eyes. The eyes are dead, but when you praise a person, oh really, they in actual fact show that life. You and I have the ability to transform the lives of so many people who we can enrich when we are prepared to pour our lives into others and bring color to their lives, meaning to their lives. After all, Jesus Christ came into the world to give us life and to give it to us more abundantly. There's something that's always staggered me uh, before I became a true believer and a Christian. I used to wonder, why do these people go to church? Why do these people speak about serving God? They've got such dull lives. I was going down to watch 007 James Bond, and I was going to party that night. That was life to me. But I didn't realize that I was a colorless human being. I did not have any color in my life. I did not have any purpose in my life. I lived from one weekend to the next to, in actual fact, just enjoy myself until the Lord met me and changed my life. And he poured within my life that which brought meaning and more color to it. Remember that that's what God wants to do in your life. So stop complaining about living a colorless life and a meaningless life and a purposeless life. Remember that when the Lord pours his spirit into your spirit, it transforms you and makes you a very, very colorful, 
relevant, purposeful individual. God bless you and thanks for listening. And I hope you actually enjoyed um, some of the thoughts that we've actually shared with you today. Don't forget, use object lessons. They will transform people's lives. Thank you.